Hey y'all, Trevor here with Red Leaf, and today we're going to take you guys through this past week's worth of content and give you guys a little bit of some hype as to what we have coming this next week. I'm really looking forward as to uh, the big projects that we have either coming to fruition or getting started. So with that being said, let's get our intro in here, talk about those projects and the extra little bit of cannabis content we had this past week. Welcome back, you guys. And like I said in the intro today, we are diving into this past week's worth of content and talking about exactly what we have next week planned for you guys to enjoy. But there's no reason for us to delay or hold off. Let's dive right into this information, you guys, and uh, wrap up the past week's worth of content starting off on Monday with our <clears throat> introduction to the... Uh, the Bud Tender series podcast that I'm going to get rolling with you guys come the end of this month. I'm really excited for the first four guests that I have lined up and I'm starting to reach out to that second wave of guests that uh, really are going to help make for a great, well-rounded, educational and informal, and, well, informational and kind of informal in the sense of we're going to be sitting down, smoking and uh, talking about the glorious plant, cannabis plant and uh, really trying to pass some information and maybe some unknowns that uh, are out there with the brands, with the actual product itself, with methods of consumption, methods of intake. Like there's so much available to learn about the cannabis plant in and of itself, you guys, that that's exactly what this podcast is meant for. And I really want to focus more towards the Canadian legal market because there is so much available and um, so much variance on the market that you really have um, a tough time keeping up to date. And I, I have a tough time keeping up to date with everything that's going on. So Let's go ahead and try and scratch that kind of communal itch that I'm seeing is coming through and uh, provide some information for you guys that may not be available anywhere else. Now, with that, we uh, went from the more educational and formal kind of content to our shenanigans on Tuesday with the Warzone live stream. We pumped out a win for you guys on Rebirth. It was a blast. Um, Kelton and Jerry had a pretty good reaction from one of my kills as well we're definitely i keep saying we're gonna have to edit up some warzone clips and start yeah I, I need to stop saying that and just start doing that um with you guys so that we can really enjoy some more folks hopping onto our warzone live streams because this last tuesday was a blast and i've been spending more time on the actual game playing with you guys so you guys will have a longer period of time to join up and enjoy the uh, conversation and shenanigans that we have going on. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and move on to Wednesday's content, which will be an abbreviated version of our one hit read review for the desserts and sweets flower. I really enjoyed that 14 gram experience. I still got quite a bit of the flower left and uh, I'm a big fan of the high and the overall flavor profile that I had to offer. Now, it was a little bit lighter in experience than I would have preferred, but I'm not saying that's necessarily a bad thing. It's just not 100% what I'm looking for is the best way and most accurate way to describe it. But with that being said, it hit heavy and it left you with such a spacey style of high and effect that um, really did... Um, linger around for not only a good length of time but also uh, continues to hit me with the same kind of level and intensity every time I smoke it and we pressed a little bit of it into some rosin and oh, so delicious you guys with that being said though we're gonna go ahead and move on to Thursday's content which is gonna be the guava and BC blueberry live sugar diamonds I'm really, really enjoying these concentrates from Verse um, Concentrate, I guess it is their actual brand name. I really enjoy the product that they release. Uh, the White Rhino Crumble, I would say for high, is more my wheelhouse, but the flavor on this Guava BC Blueberry is really, really enjoyable. And uh, 
if you guys go ahead and check out Saturday's Garage Sesh, we actually end up dropping a couple of really fat dabs on there, and Kelton really enjoyed it as well. It uh, The consistency being that kind of wet, sticky sand uh, um, and crystally kind of offering has been becoming a big favorite for me, especially on the live resin side of things, because that combination of the intense flavor and terpene profile that you provide with the live resin side of things on top of the more intensive effects from the diamond side where you get those higher THC crystal um, kind of compact uh, effects and um, well the diamonds right your scent the diamonds in there are just these nice little bubbles of THC and then you get that really saucy live resin terp rich flavor off of that concentrate and it just really impresses me all around you guys so as much as I like the high of the white rhino the flavor of the guava BC blueberry live sugar diamonds are definitely my favorite for that but the high for the white rhino crumble is where verse wins it so it's a little give, a little take. I like both of them quite a bit. Now, on Friday, we have the Banana OG one hit read review from Quest. I was impressed with that genetic for how well it ground up and like the densities of the bud, but the actual flavor and smoke that was produced wasn't the most exciting for me. Quest has maintained this just kind of stable live and of, yeah, it's unique strains. Yeah, they hit all right. Eh, not really anything exciting for the flavor or the overall experience. It's just meh. With that being said, you guys, I'm not a big fan of having meh be the forefront experience that I uh, sit down and enjoy from a product, especially that has the price point that Quest has, where it's a little bit higher in comparison to the market standard. But with that being said, there's not much that uh, I can say about it and without... Uh, Without just letting you guys listen to me and Kelton talk about it on our last Garage Sash. It was honestly, I've got to say, hands down, one of our best ones yet. Um, before we uh, got going, we were like, yeah, we'll just do a quick one. It'll be a half hour. We'll just have some fun with it. We'll keep the pace going. And we ended up rolling for over an hour. And it was a really, really fun conversation. And uh, it was quite a bit of back and forth, you guys. So with that being said, and... Uh, all the quality cannabis content we had this past week, I definitely recommend you guys go and check out any of those videos that interest you. Now, next week, we're going to have a good lineup to follow that up with. Starting things off with the Plum Dosey one hit read review from Natural History, that Indica Dominant Bud is going to be hopefully very potent and flavorful. And uh, if it has a nice resin production, we're going to introduce uh, a new factor onto the end side of our overall herbage scale and I'll explain that to you guys when we get to that review and that's to uh, follow up the uh, Wednesday base video but we'll keep that for a little bit of a surprise while I walk you guys through the double feature on Tuesday so we're going to be over the next four weeks five weeks we're going to be doing a uh, stigma grow product review every week so we've got the resin infused um, pre-rolls from dad bods the grape ape i'm really looking forward to seeing how these are going to turn out i've been hearing nothing but great things since these come on the market and with the fact that they've got a new lineage that they're working on and producing and bringing out in these infused pre-rolls i definitely want to check the original batch out before they switch it over to the new genetic now this is going to be kind of a uh supporting our uh, local um, producer there based out of the province of Alberta. I definitely like supporting quality cannabis that is grown in my home province because it's just, it's nice to support folks that uh, are set up in an area similar to myself because I can head over there and learn a little bit from them, hopefully at some point in time. So with that being said, Tuesday will be the first of our uh, kind of little chunk of stigma grow concentrate based review starting things off with the grape ape resin infused pre-rolls i'm looking forward to breaking these down with you guys before we have our standard warzone live stream 
on the channel. So if you guys want to watch some uploaded content or if you want to join the live stream, you'll have your options available for you. Now, on Wednesday, I'm going to be taking some clones and dropping some seeds as we transition from the end kind of cycles of our Protocol Grow 2.0 into our Protocol Grow 3.0. I uh, definitely am looking forward to seeing how these genetics are going to go. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of research and I'm about 99% sure that before I flip the ice cream cake and the pre-98 Bubba Kush 2. Point f or pre-98 Bubba Kush crossed with the garlic butter and the ice cream cake over into flour that I'm going to pick up a trellis net and set that up. I'm going to do some cloning so that we can kind of have a level canopy and I really want to produce as much AAA bud as possible and then the rest is actually going to follow up really really well with um, this Wednesday's video because we're going to give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek at the uh, rosin press that I just brought in. I'm really looking forward to uh, giving you guys a little bit of a preview of that. I wanted to save that till Wednesday just because it'll follow up with our protocol grow quite nicely because by then I'll have pressed all of that flour in the other room that is currently drying and uh, any of it that is not worth saving to actually produce um, that triple A bud or the smokable flour that I want to keep, all those smaller nugs, we're gonna trim up and we're gonna end up pressing into some delicious flour, you guys. I'm really starting to check the uh, condition of those plants and as they get closer to being ready to harvest, we're gonna harvest them and uh, I'm looking forward to it, you guys. I, as you can see, I'm just pumped. I've been loving pressing raws, and I really can't bring, wait to bring some raws and pressing content to the channel with you all because uh, it worked out perfectly with our harvest and everything. So, before I let myself get any further wound up, let's get back in focus. On Thursday, we have our lychee or lychee ice. I butchered it during the review. I'm going to butcher it during this video, you guys. The one hitter cartridge review from the one hitter cartridge review from Sticky Greens. I really enjoyed this fruity based offering, and I'm intrigued to see what you guys are gonna have to say because uh, we recorded that one hitter concentrate review before I sat down and recorded our weekly wrap up. I'm starting to stack some content recording up, you guys, and get ahead of schedule so I can start bringing out more content for you guys to enjoy. That's always the goal. Get ahead of schedule so I can add more onto my plate and keep you guys entertained and informed with the cannabis community. So, Thursday, the lychee or lychee ice 510 vape cartridge from Sticky Greens. I enjoyed recording that review, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say about it. Now, Friday, we are going to be bringing back a pre-milled experience onto the channel because I know there are quite a few people who like to smoke this but the biggest thing is price point it is a great value for what you get in weight natural history has the shredded lettuce I've heard amazing experiences from the first two passes through the shop is the best wording for that that um, we've had with this and the third time through I decided to pick it up to compare to our plum dosi that we review tomorrow for you guys. I'm really intrigued to see what this fruitcake and sour apple pre-milled product is going to be like. Uh, my buddy Creedon, he absolutely loves the high from it, but the sour apples from Natural History is one of his more um, preferred genetics is the best wording that I can think of for that. Now, with that being said, all this past week worth of content, me and Kelton are going to sit down and wrap it up for you guys next Saturday in another good garage sesh. I'm hoping that one rolls just as smoothly as this past one did. But uh, with that being said, you guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're looking forward to all this content that we have planned. And if you haven't checked out anything that we uploaded last week, please feel free to click on any of the cards that we have uploaded on here and go and check out that video. But with that being said, I will see you in the next one. And uh, I look forward to starting out this week of natural history based reviews with a little plum dosy cheers y'all and don't forget hover over that logo to get the subscribe button and that bell notification to pop up so you get notified anytime one of these videos get uploaded or we go live for our live streams bottom two videos one's the most recommended the other one's the most recently uploaded please click on either of those or anything else i have to offer under right leaf but for now cheers y'all and i will see you in the next one